Hey guys, David here from Good Good 55 Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Auto-Tune in graphical mode. Okay, so let's get started. So in this video, basically what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to use Auto-Tune in graphical mode. Now this will give you the most transparent results. This will not be showing you how to do the T-Pain effect, this will be showing you how to make it sound pretty natural. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and play the vocal clip that I have here, and believe me, it definitely does need a lot of pitch correction. So I'm just going to play it so that you can hear what it sounds like without any auto-tune whatsoever. Stand aside, cause I've come out of this place now. You made me hide, but no longer, cause I'm alive. Okay, so as you can tell, that definitely does need a lot of pitch correction. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a new auto-tune unit. on the effects on my vocal track here. And by default, it is in automatic mode. Now, I find that this really does not give transparent results at all. It tends to be very audible. So what we need to do up here is in the correction mode section, change it to graph, and you will be presented with this graph here. Okay, so once you've done that, what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is up here, change the input type. Now, if the vocal clip is a soprano, you can leave that. But in this vocal clip, the notes are pretty low, so I'm going to go ahead and choose a low male. This will just give you more accurate pitch correction and also tracking. Now you're going to want to come over here and choose a key. Now this one here is in the key of D major. If you're not sure, I'll leave a link down below to a scale finder. And you can input the notes and it will basically give you a list of scales that use those notes. You can also try leaving it on chromatic, but it will be more tedious. Okay, so once you've gone ahead and set that, the next thing that you need to do is just hit the formant correction on. This isn't necessary, I just like to do it because once again, it just improves the transparency. So once you've gone ahead and done all that up there, you're going to want to hit track pitch and then just play back the vocals. This will just basically make autotune track the pitch so that it can be corrected. Stand aside, cause I've come out of this place now you made me hide but no longer cause I'm alive okay so once you've gone ahead and played all the vocals you can just hit this track pitch button down here again so it's done tracking and now you can see all these red lines. Now this is where the singing actually was. And these black and blue lines, as you can see here, are actually where the notes should be. So this note here, for example, is a bit flat. It should be more at E. This one here is pretty spot on. Same with this one. But what we're going to do is we are going to now correct the pitch. So I'm using Auto-Tune Evo here. I know that currently there is Auto-Tune 7 that is out. Um, all these features will be in Auto-Tune Evo onwards. I'm pretty sure that the line tool is in all versions of Auto-Tune so far. And we are going to be using that. But the very first thing that I like to do, and this is in Auto-Tune Evo onwards, is I just like to hit Make Notes, just to give me a general idea of where things are supposed to be. Now the next thing that I like to do is so that I can hear exactly what note it's being corrected to, is I actually like to come over here and change the retune speed all the way to zero. So yes, this is going to give us the T-Pain effect for now, but we are going to turn it down once we're done inputting the right notes. So I like to start at the very beginning, and I'm just gonna use the zoom tool to zoom in here. And now I'm gonna take my line tool, and I'm just gonna start drawing. So you can see that here it has placed the notes at A. So I'm just gonna draw a line straight through there. And the reason I did that is because there's also a note here that the Make Notes tool did not catch. So I'm just going to draw a straight line right through. 
And if you see that the make notes tool actually did put a note in the right place, you can leave it. So let's listen to that so far. Stand aside. Cause yeah, right notes. And once again here, I'm gonna take the line tool. I'm gonna draw this C sharp here. And I'm going to bring the line tool up after clicking so that we kind of get a slide up into the next note. So it just sounds kind of natural. Now this will also correct the transitions between notes. If you don't want that though, you don't have to necessarily put that line there. You can just leave the lines on the notes themselves. Now after I'm done with the line tool, again, I'm just changing everything to a retune speed of zero, just so that I can hear what exactly is going on. And basically, you just draw in your lines. And I'm just going to keep on going here. And you can really see what I'm doing. I'm not making the transitions between notes at a 90 degree angle because that is what will give you the T-Pain effect. You want it to just slide up into the next note. That will give you the most natural results. Okay, why don't we why don't we listen to what we have so far? Stand aside cuz I've come out of the okay and once again here you can see that this note here i prefer to use the make notes tool on single notes it doesn't really matter though you can use the line tool but what i mean by single notes is notes that aren't connected to other notes by some sort of a transition so there's kind of a pause in between the notes so we're just going to continue on with the line tool And you can see here that I'm trying to keep the notes on the natural curves. Okay, I like the way that looks. So, that looks good. Okay, now, got everything in there, let's listen. Stand aside. Cause I've come out of this place now You made me hide But no longer Cause I'm alive I don't know if you heard, but there was actually a pop on No Longer. I'll play it again. But no long you can hear a pop there. If you do get that, all you have to do is just try shortening the length of the beginning of the note. So just basically make the auto-tuned note come in a bit later. So for this, I'm just going to use the Make Notes tool. Doesn't really matter, you can still use the Line tool. Let's try that again. But no longer. That's better. Now we don't have some sort of a click there. So once I've got all the notes in the right place, I'm going to go ahead and click the select all button up here to select every single note. And then I'm just going to move the retune speed down. Now I normally keep it at around 10 to 20. I'm going to put it at 15 for this purpose. Now this will just make it sound less auto-tuned and a lot more natural. Keep in mind though, you can also change the retune speed of individual notes. So let's say I want this note here to be very hard tuned. I could just click it and I can actually change the retune speed of just that note. So let's give that a listen with a retune speed of 15. 
stand aside because I've come out. I'm still finding that things are a bit loose, so I'm just going to move it up to 10. Stand aside because I've come out of this place now. You who made me hide, but no longer, cause I'm alive. And I'm pretty happy with that, so keep in mind that your retune speed might not be exactly the same as mine. Different retune speeds work for different people. So thanks for watching and I hope I helped. If you liked this video, don't forget to click the like button down below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more, and check out my Facebook and Twitter page. Also check out my website at www.gugudo55techtutorials.com. All the links are in the description below.